Check it out, in this video I'll be reviewing the Potentate Alcohol Marker Set from Bombing Science. Bombing Science supplied the markers for this review, but all opinions expressed in this video are my own after using the markers in several different settings. If you're interested in checking out some of the markers for yourself, I will have some coupon codes and additional offers from Bombing Science linked in the description of the video. I'm using the 12 marker set which comes in at $28. Each marker has a black body with twin tips. On one side of the marker there is a 1mm bullet tip and the other side has a 2-6mm to calligraphy tip. Both caps have color codes on them and there is an additional color band across the body of the marker. The 12 marker set comes in a box that fits them snugly and keeps them organized. It quickly became apparent that these markers saturate the page quite fast. Surprisingly, this does not lead to a marker that's quite uncontrolled. It's not like there's a lot of bleeding coming out of the nib while you're drawing. It's more so once you do add a layer or two of that marker on the page that it does get quite saturated. I just don't suggest using these on plain paper. I would only use these on a piece of paper that's designed for graphic markers. While using these on standard printer paper and trying to fade, the markers actually bled through the page and down into three additional sheets while saturating those sheets well enough to actually work their way back through that top sheet. This could ruin the top sheet drawing by having ink come back through the back side of it and start to blotch other areas. The piece you're watching right now is drawn on graphic marker paper. I had no issues with excessive bleeding or a single back sheet to help saturate anything that did go through the top layer. Limited with the colors that I was blending, it was a little hard to transition between the large jumps and pigment, but with blending I had a pretty traditional experience compared to other graphic markers. It was not much harder to use these than anything else. All the colors in this set were true to their labels and came out quite nicely. While filling in the black background of this piece, I did notice the marker had trouble keeping up with filling a large area at once. I've completely used up the black marker at this point and found that this slow in performance was due to the fact that it was at the end of its life. When there's not much ink left in the body of the marker, it's hard for the nib to pull that through and put it onto the page. This is typical to every alcohol marker, but it seemed that the black was running out rather fast. I had been using the black a lot more than the other markers in this set, just doing tags and making some stickers. The longevity of the other colors hasn't been tested quite as thoroughly. I fear that the two passes needed to get a consistent coverage of the other markers may lead to these markers running out faster than other brands. The calligraphy tip was fun to tag with and wrote very smoothly on both paper and stickers, even while moving quite fast. The nibs were rather soft, leading to some natural impressions and wear. This is preferred by some artists, but for myself I'm rather indifferent. I didn't find that it interfered with my work, and I didn't find that it made it much better, but it's definitely an option if you do like to have a nib that you can kind of push or customize a little bit. Much like most bullet tip nibs, the end rounded quite a bit after use, making the size of it a little bit large for outlines in my opinion, but it was still fine for small detail work and filling in areas. Coming in at $2.33 per marker, these are some of the lower priced graphic markers I've seen in a while. I feel that their performance matches this price quite nicely though. These are not the best markers in the world, but they are extremely practical compared to some graphic markers that are 4 or 5 times as much. I might have felt a little limited here with the color selection I use, but Bombing Science has sets as large as 60 markers, so there are plenty more colors in the Potentate range to get a hold of. I hope this review was informative and in demonstrating how the Potentate markers work in a graffiti setting. If you want to try some out for yourself, be sure to head over to Bombing Science to fill all your supply needs. I will have these marker sets linked directly below, as well as the coupon codes I had mentioned before. Thank you for checking out this video, and be sure to subscribe if you're interested to similar speed art content or product reviews. I recently completed a full belt and Molotov spray paint review for Bombing Science as well, and you can click through that on the screen now. That's going to do it for me guys. Peace.